Oh, hello, integrals and the franchise. It's all welcome back to my kitchen. Man, on taste making. I'll be serving you bagworms. That doesn't sound appetizing at all, does it? But this is the Pokemon card game, and in Fates Collide, there was such an interesting combo between Wormadam, Mothim, and what you could do with it. So, how does it work? How good is it, actually? We're gonna find all that coming soon. So, we're explaining to you how this set up and what the combo does, and you're gonna see it in four awesome matches. And probably one horribly horrible match that goes wrong. For me, of course. It's all amazing and awesome for you. So, let's get started. And, first off, we gotta talk about Wormadam. Now, if I had to make an analogy, this here is Jesse and James from Team Rocket. Why? Because Jesse is in charge of Team Rocket. I mean, she needs James, which is why Twin Burst does double damage when Motham James is on the bench. But you know who's the boss? He's he, he's he's uh the underdog. Well, at least he's second in charge. So Twin Burst. Three of any energies works with double colorless, so you can get it up in two turns, but they're Team Rocket. I mean, they're always getting blown up by Pikachu. They probably don't have that much health. So 110, which sort of sucks. But that's okay, because Team Rocket always relies on their gadgets. So what gadget do we, do we need? Focus Sash. If a fighting Pokemon has this, it can't be knocked out. And if it were to be knocked out, it would have one hit point remaining, and you would remove the Focus Sash. So, you can take a million amount of damage, and it only have 10 hit points left, enough to survive and fight another day. That's how Team Rocket works, guys. So, alright, we've got the survivability. We have 120 damage, but let's make the combo even better. Let's take a look at James. James, you know how he always wanted to be a doctor in Pokemon? Yeah, so he's a doctor as a Pokemon. Moth him! Wormadam first, Jesse first. If Jesse is wounded any at all, you can move that damage counter onto any of other Pokemon you want. Doesn't matter which. So, yeah. Basically, you can completely heal Jesse, put another Focus Sash on, and you're good to go. Oh, okay. But, you know, keeping Jesse alive. It actually doesn't work out that way because you're gonna dump your focus sashes on other stuff. Because drawn through everything, you're gonna you're just not gonna save in the focus sash. But if it happens, great. If it doesn't, well, this may go on to somebody else. Just saying because it's true. Now, let's make the combo even more dangerous. We have. It's on my channel. I was gonna call it Meowth, but there's nobody else in the trio, so you're Meowth. There's like, no, I'm not. Look at me. Why would I be a pathetic looking cat? Anyways, Steaming Mad. The more damage counters on this thing, the more damage it does. So if it actually had 170 damage, because, you know, Jesse moved all the damage counters, or James moved it off Jesse, we did 340 damage. Not including the strong energies or the fighting stadium, which would add 20 damage each strong energy. Or if I'm going against an EX Pokemon. So strong energy counts as fighting energy, gives me 20 damage each. Ooh, so now Jesse can actually have has the potential to one-shot EX Pokemon. And do much more than simply 120. Although that's enough to two-shot anything. Which is what we're going to go for. And to add it all off. If we really need the healing. Like oh, I need some more uh, sustain. Heal off my champ back to full. You can just use him as just an absorption shield. So that is how the combo works. With Mothem moving damage counters. I'll form them onto my champ. And you can have some crazy power. And okay there's no fourth person. Team Rocket. This is like a Wormadam look-alike. Looks ex exactly the same, but it's a Karmic and it's made out of diamonds. So I've heard. So Karmic, why are you here? Well, they do. I am using lots of special energies, such as this, such as the double colors. And how do I get them all back from my discard easily and have an immune to EX Pokemon? Pokemon, so EX Pokemons are gonna have so much trouble. You're gonna see that. And it also, the Bright Diamond Gift, 20 damage, but puts two of 
any energy cards wherever I like. Machamp, Warmadam, and there's a great way to recycle these valuable, valuable energy cards. Yeah, all right. And of course, they need to eat, so they all visit the Sushi Master's restaurants where he will never let you go hungry. You're always going to have five cards, whether your opponent ends you or you're stuck for some reason. It's just, I'm, I'm starting to like this a lot better than Shaman. Sometimes a good Shaman setup is for more aggressive deck. This thing, it's more time. Time management. And because this fight, you're going for a long run. And you can't end it quickly. Stick with the Sushi Master. Alright, so other stuff we talked about. Alright, situational card, Hex Maniac. In case, just in case there's an Agis Slash or something you can't go through, Hex Maniac will solve some of those problems for you. I met an Agis Slash, it didn't go so well, so I was like, oh, better put that in. Okay, and we got Lysander, you know, get rid of the threats before they happen. We got Korda, gets you much champ, gets you Wormadam, any item, and it's a nice bonus, a small amount of supporters. Uh, oh, it also gets you, well, Carbig, any fighting Pokemon. It's a nice support to get you what you need out, okay. Plenty of Sycamores, plenty of ends, because when I run into an item lock deck, at least I still have draw power and hope that I can still pull stuff and be able to fight back, which you'll see. Alright, we got town map. That's not a town map because you're gonna it's always valuable to when you knock out something, pick whatever you need next turn. And unfortunately, or fortunately, there's something always there that you can use. Okay. So, is that everything? That's pretty much it. We got switch, we got escape rope for retreat. I'm not going to use float stones because they're probably going to be holding focus ashes and there are better ways to retreat if I have to do so. So, alright, we're finished. You remember the combo? Alright, let's put it into action. Let's start off with Yancy. A very familiar Yancy deck. Oh boy. This deck looks really, really familiar. Like last week, familiar. Okay, well... Welcome, yeah, welcome to another Wormer Dam match, and I'm gonna play One Punch from the hero from One Punch Man, and let me get out Sushi Master. Oh, one of this! Wow, a lot of the Sushi Master prize are priced. They're priced up. This is why you get two guys. So, who am I gonna charge up? Chance of you attacking Wonder Stage. Yeah, I saw your video. <laughs> So this here, if this deck is mostly the same, this is Deancey and Guard of War with immense amount of healing. So we are both playing defensive strategy decks. Let's see how this goes out. Man, all right, it got the first energy. It can use Wonder Stage and Attack me, but I can use Steaming Mad and one shot it back. So I don't know how this is gonna go out. It has to. I mean, if you were to play safe. He would have to use the tech guard of war's attack first, or he could just he sh what he sh should have done is not play the stadium right here. So it did 60 damage, then follow up and blast me. So wonder stage, Ugh, 120. I need an energy. If I get an energy, I can KO that thing and confuse myself, which would suck. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use the max potion and buy myself another turn. So a stadium is in play. It's always gonna be in play, and I did not get a. Uh, I'm gonna get the bonus damage. I'm gonna end. And please bring me one of any energy card. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. So now, once Machamp is activated, kind of like some some weird uh, movie show. Once it's activated, once the agent is activated, it goes into crazy mode. 250 and it stays that way. So, woo. -hoo. Okay, you cannot heal past past that. So, if he did not play the fairy stadium, that that was that's how you get through this. That's how you get through my champ. Soften it and then eliminate it. So it's now up to chance. 50-50, I can get rid of this, and he can't attack me. And ooh, I only get four cards that kind of like reverse birch. But now it's like any. I, I can deal with that. If this was Shaman, mm -mm, but now this is Birch. And uh oh, Garbic is gonna come out. It's gonna threaten DNC because, oh, uh, well, he needs to have a Hex Maniac or use Gardevoir. Set one up. So, 
can't hurt me with this, can't you? Now this this thing doesn't actually need a focus sash. This thing does. Do I need any cards back? Not really. Let's just go ahead, get two cards, and we'll follow up with a Sycamore or N. Okay, Burmy, come out. We're gonna follow up with Sick. Oh, we have to follow up with N. Because I don't have Sycamore yet. Sycamore is still hiding. So N, here, have even more cards, buddy. Oh, dear. All right. I'm going to follow up with the town map. I can't use the Sushi Master, but I, we'll see what comes out. Steaming Matt up to chance, Tails. Ooh, it did not work. Well. Ouch. Okay. Hopefully I can get bypass the shield. This is going to be really tough to get through. Oh, Skyla. All right, Skyla. Needs to set up guard of war and something. Fairy guard. Yep. Okay. So that I would do less damage. Fortunately. Okay. Motham and Burmy. They're all on my deck somewhere. I have not discarded them. All the Wormadams are around. I get another chance. Okay, there's N keeps coming out. That's okay. We are going to get our Wormadam up and running. I just need to moth them. So, here we go. Auxiliary. Lots of energies. I like energies. Here, have... You have an energy. But we can sick it more, but do I want to lose these cards? No, I don't. No, I don't. We got another Wormadam. This has to be Burmy. Unfortunately. Steaming Man, don't knock yourself out. Okay. Carbink. He can't hurt this Carbink. Not without the Guard of War. Guard of War is hiding somewhere. There it is. And once Guard of War comes out, it will be able to, with the muscle band, two shot Carbink. So he knows. Oh, time to get to work. And for now, DNC's Wonder Stage can't do anything to it unless there was a Hex Maniac. It could be. A smarter way to up. Okay. Nope. Carbink Break is out. Perfect. There's no reason it needs to focus Sash. Let's just go ahead and evolve this. I will go and set up a different Warmer Dam because this one already has the focus Sash, so. Because, okay, nope. I'm just gonna give this to you. It could be you. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards out. Carbink and Carbink Break Line. Be bold. Did I use my Super Rod? Okay, I don't need any of these cards whatsoever. I need the Motham and a Burmy. There's the Motham. Burmy will come out as long as there's an Ultra Ball remaining in my deck. There's two been used. One's right here. There's one more. Okay, I can get Motham or Burmy out next turn. Let's go ahead and use Diamond Gift. Woo! All these cards comes out. We're going to go ahead and send this to Wormadam. Okay, so... Power Gem did zero damage. Wow. Oh man, two Curly S, two Guard of Wars. This is gonna be a disaster. I, I need to do more than 70 damage. It's. Oh, this is a disaster. And Curly is being charged up. Once Motham is out, we're in trouble. Once it's that. I mean, that card's out, we're in trouble. Okay. Let's go ahead, grab this. There's no fighting Pokemon left in my deck. That's okay. We'll get rid of this. DCE is more important. So let's go ahead and discard this. And... Burmy. One of the Burmies are out. Let's go ahead and grab this here. I'm gonna go ahead. I can't do... Diamond Gift is not gonna do anything because there's nothing... To, oh no. I lied. There's something here. Let's go ahead and finish and use Diamond Gift. None of the, all the Burmies are charged up except this guy. So we actually went had the wrong Pokemon. Oh, okay. So, Curly is up two 
Wonder Energy is here. It can attack pretty much if he has the cards. He will switch back. He's got free retreat, and Curly is going to come out. It will not benefit from the Sparkling Veil, so I'll be able to do full damage to it. But then, I, did I discard all the carbings? All the carbings will be gone, and all the DMCs are going to come free. Uh oh. I was like, I'm not going to wait. Let's go out. Magic Shot does the same amount of damage as a Guard of War would. So. Motham, you're up. It's Burmy time. Yeah, you can go ahead and have this. Let's go ahead and use Twin Burst. If he had evolved into Guard of War, I don't know how much... I can't... I don't remember how much a Guard of War does. Has. But I, I think it has enough hit points to survive 120 damage attacks. So, we got one of them down. Carving is still here. There's a chance that another Guard of War comes out, and now it's like, oh yes, I can hurt this. Wonder Stage, pretty much a one shot, but with a Focus Sash, I don't think so. And I've used up all my Focus Sashes, so it's gone. There's no reason I can should heal it because he's gonna one shot it anyways. Yeah. You go ahead and have this. I'm gonna go ahead and use Twin Burst. 111 damage. Woo! Through Sparkling Veil, this one didn't have the hard charm, so... The next Deancey is coming up. Shauna! We're gonna knock each other out. But efficiently, Wormadam is trading very well with another EX card. So, I'll be on my last prize cards. Gardevoir is up. It can heal up just a bit. He should use his free retreat. Yeah, free retreat. And this one, they have hard charms now. No, use your free retreat, man! It was... I can't knock that out unless the Burmy has... That's that. So, use your free retreat while... And then keep on healing this while this thing's on the bench. Okay. That being said, is my Super Rod gone? Because that matters a lot. Is my Super Rod in my prize cards? Okay. Got a plan. We're gonna go ahead and use Korna. I will grab the Super Rod, and there's no fighting Pokemon. So, there's also very few cards left in my deck. Uh oh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab out this. Energies? Sure. I have to bring out. You know, let's, let's bring out Carbeak for fun. Okay. There's no reason why I shouldn't have to heal up my Carbeak to full, because it's got no energies in the first place. 10 cards. Let's pull out some more stuff. Okay, this, we're gonna get you back, so we're gonna have to threaten them so he has to charge up his guard or something like that. Alright, one more prize card to go. I will take an escape rope and I'll take an ultra ball, which should guarantee me a Burmy. I got the energies to use it. Got Carmink if I need energies. So, in a couple of turns, Gardevoir would have healed that Deancey right back up. Okay, so lucky, lucky that got two prize cards and I can start trying to go for a win and he knows uh oh well he only has one more Pokemon to try out or to charge up and he needs to get past his carving 110 I survive Woo! I mean that card's gone let's go ahead and put the this right here let's go ahead and use twin burst Oh, I should have used Wormadam first and just moved on here. And then would have gotten KO'd anyway, so that's okay for now. Oh, that's that's exactly what I should have done. So, he's gonna Lysander and go for my Sushi Master. What? Bright heal. Okay, heals it up. I have one. Then. Fairy drop, healed it up. Wonder stage. Goodbye, Sushi Master. I'm all out of cards. There's no reason you should kill that at all. Because I'm trying to conserve my cards and everything is just set up. So, this is GG. And I can use my uh, my stadium to boost damage. So, how much damage does this thing? This thing has 200 hit points. He knows. 
the fight should have lasted longer and the other DNC should have survived, so... I think I only need 80, I don't need to move all of it, but maybe, maybe just 90 just in case. Nah, I got this. 80, I can do still do math, guys. We're just gonna move 80, there's nothing I can uh, just do an extra one just in case. Oh, let's give him full power. Don't end your turn. Move this out. Steaming mad. Oh, I could have Lysander too. I didn't have to worry. 190 damage. Got it. Well, that went, that went okay. So, now I learned a thing or two how to make these both these decks better on my end. Well, for one, put a Hex Maniac in the other deck, and make sure you retreat and juggle those Guard of Wars out. Don't risk that Guard of War or other, have it fight before you evolve it, and yeah. Okay, moving on, moving on. You know, I was curious, and I decided to look up what a Wormadam could be in real life. Because it's suspicious that the girls become Wormadams while the guys become Mothams. It has to be related, right? So, yep, the Bagworm is what this Pokemon is based off of. And basically, they look alike and they behave that way in real life. All right, what in the world? Combustion on the first turn with Blacksmith? Oh, man. And I'm still weak to grass. Welcome to another Wormadam match. Alright, so... Fire is one of this deck's weakness. And luckily... I am sort of able to kind of set up. I am gonna gar be guaranteed to survive. And I need to set up. I have Mothab right here. It doesn't. Okay. I can lose this carving. I have an extra Wormadam. I'm gonna go ahead and lose that. So, we're gonna check out. There's the Mothab. There's the. I need to set up at least Burmy. So, let's go ahead and get Burmy out. Mothab is in my hand. I think it's worth it to burn this energy. I've already used up the energy for my turn, and we got... Now I can know exactly where everything is. Alright, I'm gonna use Sand Spray, which is gonna do so much. 50 damage. If you don't evolve it, I can destroy you next turn. If you do evolve it, I may be able to destroy you next turn. So, he's... Looks like we both can use the same to some degree. And, alright, Brazen's gonna come out. It's gonna get the energy. I mean, three energy, L L Leo, that's already half dead. More than that. What are you gonna do? You're gonna evolve into Pyroar anyways. I'm gonna evolve Pokemon, but it does have more hit points. And Scorch Fanged, she doesn't have to... Wait, I'm weak to grass. Oh, my weakness changed. Oh, lucky me! Uh, and, and I got this. I actually pulled the DCE, yes! So, Wormadam first. We're gonna have to... Sp okay, I'll put someone Carbink. I may... Let me get hit done, because there may have a bigger tankier Pokemon, like a Machamp, that may come down. There we go. There we go. And there's the Max Potion right there. And a DCE. Oh, I don't want to lose. Discarding is so painful. Machamp. I know you're there. Both of y'all are there. There y'all are. And... Now here is the real Pokemon that we have to move the energies over. So, so... Let's go ahead and do that. And... Okay, this may take a couple more seconds. But... I'm gonna go and just skip to that, alright? Alright, we're finished. Don't. Do you want to use the max potion yet? No! I bet I can take some more damage. We got another Burmy to set up. We got another Worm Dam, which will take this DCE, so I things are rolling smoothly my way. 
there's a chance I may want to use my uh, carving break for that. So I'm not going to go ahead and use Super Rod yet. We're going to use Twin Burst for 140 damage. Okay. Fighting Stadium, strong energy. Oh, this all looks so good. So tasty. I'll take the Verse Seeker. I may just have to end next turn or something. We'll see. So, Camrupt, it looks... It, well, it's tankier, and he may want to save this evolution become a Del Fox. And it's getting energy, so Fiery Torch. I mean, this is kind of like another version of the stadium. It's an item only one time use. And, wow, they're long five energies. Blacksmith all the way, buddy. Del Fox, there's the Blacksmith. Uh oh. It means he is at least able to use top on attack. I can't die, though, unless he removes this, so. Got all energies. Is Lysander, are you down there? This is a good time for Lysander. Lysander is in my deck still. Okay. So, we got Camrupt. We cannot one shot this Camrupt. I lied. We can one shot this Camrupt. No, we can't. Steaming Mat isn't enough. It isn't charged up enough yet. So, we're going to go and, you know, take advantage of the time that's being given to me to do what I need. Hundred damage. Let's go ahead and use the max potion. Heal you up. Okay. And I think I can pull off a carbine break. I will go ahead and discard this first seeker to grab off a carbine break. So now, once your Del Fox is gone, I hopefully Oh, he's got something else. Now I haven't played a supporter yet. So maybe Lysander, you wanna come out? It has to be epic. Pull that off one by one. You definitely need... Oh, I may need to save that Focus Sash. And let's go ahead and see what we can do. We may... Lysander may want to come out. No, in that case, let's go ahead and take a reshuffle. Because I don't want a Lysander. I do want to get another set of cards out. There you are. Alrighty then, we're gonna go for Twin Burst. Motham is here, everything is set up nicely. 142 shot potential. Yeah, it's a good best way to do this. So, only Del Fox is ready. I don't know why Del Fox got everything. I, I, I guess maybe Explosive Jeff is just too hard to handle. And Blacksmith again. Well,. A lot of energy cards are down there. That makes sense. And you already have draw power taken enough care of through Mystic Fire, so it is a good combo. I'm sure this camera up, this one's pretty much gone. He's getting his ready to duke it out, so the storm's brewing, guys. Storm's brewing. Mystic Fire. Sushi is like, this is how you cook sushi, my apprentice. You see that? You have to do this and this, and it makes... This is how, this is why I make better sushi in you, because you're just not as good. I'm basically, I was like, I'm sorry, I will have learned better. Wow, six energies! Ooh. I'm so sorry. I don't even have to do this. But my Pokemon will live. I would not have to. Uh, I will save my resources if Twin Burst deletes the Del Fox from ever hurting me. I don't have to heal it. I don't have to lose a Focus Sash. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna pick up a strong energy because I don't have any energies and my champ can take it. And Camera is gonna come out. Lysander. You know, offense over defense. You did it, man. Thank you very much. And Pyroar is up. If it would be a problem. We were going to use Hexamaniac to disable it, if, say, when Agi Slash came up, but luckily it didn't. So, Blacksmith, yet again, now she lacks the draw power, but it can use Explosive Jet to do... I'm weak against Grass now, it changed up, so two energies, losing two energies would be the most efficient thing. You're picking three? Well, it, removed, it did remove the Focus Slash and prevents me from using Motham. So, let's get that final energy on. Do I want to heal it up? You know, you may, it may not have the capabilities to knock me out. So I am going to do it. And, you know, 
Time skip again. You can't watch me do that. Okay, I was still moving my damage counters. Everything was still the way it is, but you can see everything's set up. He conceded. Because right now, momentum wise, he did not have the energies to keep on going on, nor did he have the Pokemon. And I'm pretty much in control. He has to deal with potentially more focus sashes. Or at least he doesn't know. And I can just maybe retreat and keep the fight going. So against a, a fire deck that hurts itself so much in that way against this sort of defense deck, it kind of helped out. And Lysander kind of screwed everything over. So thank you, Lysander. And we're going to move on. So I decided to look up what a Bagworm looks in real life and compare to Wormadam. You're milling me? Okay. So. Let me continue. A bagworm does not look like a bug whatsoever. If you saw it, you're like, hey, that's part of a tree. It's not a worm, and it looks like just like a pine cone. A weird, a weird pine cone, but it does just look like that. So, okay. Yeah, go look, go Google that and see for yourself. Okay, I'm done. Welcome to another Remedy Dead Bash, and this is going to be silly. So, I'm going to end my turn. I've done everything I can. So far, let's see how fast he can build this Meow. He has to lock me somehow, because I can one-shot this... Next turn, I'm gonna one-shot this. No matter what. I mean, I have my Burmy, I can set up completely my combo. But he has to have something else, and I hope this game isn't just like, oh, you knock out the Burmy, you win! Kinda deal. You can Lysander any Pokemon, I'm gonna one-shot that Bunnelby. He needs to have another basic Pokemon out, otherwise that's the game. Any basic Pokemon. And there are so many cards left. I'm fighting. Well, let's go. Okay. You missed it, but he did play a Verse Seeker, and he's picked up a nice Team Rocket's handiwork. You need another Pokemon, buddy. All right. So before he lost the game, he milled out half my deck. Kind of. Wormadam. And just in case there's another weird Lysander going on. We're just gonna evolve you. And yeah. Just attach this. I didn't even have to use twin bursts. I could've just used because of weakness, but wow, 160 damage. Mothman wasn't even there too, so. Was that right? Yeah. Okay. You know, I was wondering whether the cloaks, you know, the metal version or the, well, sand version, if they had any relationship with the real thing. Turns out, nah, it's just something Pokemon edited just for fun. All right. So, nope. Doesn't exist. Still a silkworm. Anyways, welcome to another Wormadam match. I'm gonna play Kiorn Hakeets from Noragami. And we got Mothem. We don't want this to, this to be a Mothem. Alright. I cannot play any items. I have to use a Hex Maniac or something. So this is not a, such a good hand. I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore. See? I do need this. This is the last and final Mothem. Because I already discarded it. We must, we have to. Alright, I'm gonna end my turn and that's gonna be that. So now, he has to, he can hit me for weakness. Or he can use Trap and Break and slowly burn me away. Either way, it's not looking so good for me. Either I have to, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I can't draw any cards. Normally I would be able to use Ultra Ball. Or the Verse Seeker to pull through it. He's got the Trevenant Break set up. And this is why item blocks are lame. They're lame, and he could just use... He could deal enough damage, 
follow with the 120 damage attack, and I'm gone. Okay. We may just have to go use Crazy Hammer. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to do that. It will two shot him, and if there's some, there's no re reason that a special effect would come on. So, it actually is gonna do a hundred damage. We're gonna have to get rid of this ASAP, and if that happens, I may be free from the item block, and things may, may be looking up. So, I can't. He's pressured. He does not have time in his side. He, we'll see. Lysander, you're not ready? That sucks. Okay, we can set up a Burmy. You can have an energy card. And if he, things work out, well... Oh, I have an escape room. I can't play it. I need another energy card. Oh, a lot of energies have been played. <sighs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna Lysander out. I would have destroyed it. But... He's stuck. I'm stuck. So, Acrobike. Okay, I guess Escape Rope's gonna help. Don't trap me like this. This is why item locks, they're not fun, man. Guys, they're not fun at all, but we'll play it through. He now can attack me and slowly, slowly burn me away. I'm gonna go ahead and end, because I need a better hand. I got a hand that I can't do anything with. I can't evolve a carving break, which is gonna make it last longer. Well, that's gonna suck. My whole bench is probably gonna be wiped out. And there's no way I can react to it. Yes, Trevenant, Trevenant, these item locks. It's over. It's over. Got another one up. I don't have the Hex Maniac or Lysander that can save me yet. I hope they come around, but not yet. So, taking a look. Nope, they are still in my deck somewhere. I am forced to Sycamore. If he hits me another one, I'm. if I do get an energy, I'm just going to use Crazy Hammer. So, Lysander. This is not good. He has total control. He has total, total control. Okay. My Machamps are gonna get a lot stronger though. Sushi Master isn't the threat, so there goes one Burmy, there goes one prize card. Next, Mothem. Carbink isn't set to go down, but Mothem is going down. So let's go ahead and stick them more. I do want that card to get KO'd. I can't play any items, I'm not gonna pull anything else down. Let's make sure both my champs are ready. Because once he does his fight next attack, both my champs are gonna be able to one-shot pretty much anything. And this effect, Nervous Seed, I'm already prepared to go bypass it. So, it's all gonna be down to Steaming Mad. Please do attack me. Do get out my artillery. Oh man. He's gonna get lots of prize cards. Which is going to be okay if I can end and it's going to hurt him, so... Oh. Not only that, this Trevenant's out and it's going to one-shot the Machamp that comes out. So, he's going to play Sycamore now. Total control, there's another Trevenant breakout, which I can one-shot. So far. Floatstone, but once the, this item lock version is gone, I'll be okay. Three prize cards in a single attack. Once my champ dies, this thing will finish it off. And it's weakness. I have to Lysander that card, guys. Let's go ahead and sh we have to do this. We have to do this. I can switch. It's not going to do anything. Lysander isn't up. And I threw away the energy idea. We're going to use Steaming Mad. 
resistance. Well, that doesn't matter. I get I've lost because this thing already has enough damage to one shot me, so he's got it. Wow. Totally wrecked. Totally, totally destroyed. Playing item locks. Well, it is one of the most dangerous cards, but it's just not the way to go, guys. It's just not a way to die. So please do finish it. He's like, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna end. No, just attack me and finish it. You need two prize cards. I'm already wounded. I mean, energy press, just two prize cards. Yeah, you got enough energies. Here's the Dimension Valley. Unless, I mean, if you don't do it, I may have half a chance that I'm going to be able to beat you. So, yeah, energy press. Two prize cards, 180. It's like, uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm just thought so. Unfortunately, a heavy technique deck that needs. I need all the items to set all the stuff up. Focus sash. Ah, there's nothing I can do about it. So, if you're going to worlds, make sure you have some way to get through item blocks. Careful with all those verse seekers and all the items. Make sure you have tons of basics, energies, draw supporters, or at least supporters, actual supporters and stuff. And I, that's the only way I can think of it. It's just not this deck can't bypass that. Okay. I think I'm done with that. Let's move. Oh. Is that you? Did you really make it here to this spot at the end? Well, congratulations. So, it's time we rate this deck. I'm gonna give it a B minus. Why? I mean, the combo looks pretty good. Vandaman did sort of work out, you know, with moving all the energy damage counters off, keeping the Moth in play, training very well with the EX Pokemons. It's just, it was stressful because there were so many parts that was needed, like, if I don't get the double colors energy, then I have to wait three turns to charge this up. You know, unless he has something about to say about it. But uh, it's like, oh, I need the Wormadam, and I need the Motham, and I need to set up an Octillery, and maybe I just, it's just all over the place. So, that's, there's a lot of work to making this deck work for the payoff. So, after playing it once or twice, like, uh, I'm gonna try something more more fun, and that's how I feel about it. So, it does perform. It's very cheap to make. But after that, pssst. okay, so that's that. What is up for next time? Groudon. Primal Groudon. See which one it is? Okay, so that is up for next time, man. Do not forget to like, subscribe, because you're going to get more videos just like this. And if you like any of the remixes of the songs, you can find them on the YouTube playlist, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream music. Okay, so thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you back in my kitchen next time for Primal Groudon. Bye-bye. Unless you're the few... You are extra to stay in for the comments in that case, why don't we get started on that? Alright, so, let's get started. Salute TV, bad quality, but good deck. You saw the video right when I didn't even make it go public, so... It was still running to 1080p, but I, you knew that eventually. So, Peter, Captain Obvious, I would recommend you watch Chef. Because it's gonna... Mm, I'll, I'll, be care I'll be careful and I'll take your warning for that. Sounds great! And, Raphael Dutre with deck description. I got it right this time. Yeah, so, uh, Super Razor. Hi, Donald, how are you doing? Thank you very much for asking, I'm doing well. And, Elia Rivera, try Red Mirror 2 and Y, then use D Evolution Spray, but trying the memories is a nice combo, and you got that right there. Why not? Ido Lopez, why not revisit sections for your old deck? I don't know about section, you mean like a playlist on my channel? I mean, I'll revisit them, like, tomorrow, but maybe not a whole section, you know, like that. Okay, and Steve Michael, I'm happy you read out your hate comments because people don't understand how rude they are. 
I don't mind. It's just the internet. So, I'll keep on doing it. And hello again, Steven. It's nice to see you. Kung Fu Pan Cham. Awesome video. Now, I want to see Lugia break. I've done that one. And you'll find me. Just, just take a look. Yeah, Hawk Freeze. Try to Doom Deck Out Deck. Mill Deck. I wanted to do it next, but I can't do... I don't want to do another deck that doesn't punch for, like, great, great, great stream power. So, we're going to go back from Primal Ground on. And Sylvic Wolfram. We're gonna get this non EX Dark Rye from the promo generation spot. Rasmus Lun, Y Octillery over Shaman. Three Super Rods, Wally. Wally, you gotta keep that. Three Super Rods sounds crazy, but I paid the price over many games that, because I couldn't get the cards I need because they were discarded. Otherwise, I wouldn't go for two or even one Super Rod. And Octillery, Sushi Master, man. You're never going to be low on cards. And with N around, it seems better and better as time goes on. And the initial burst setup, you have, you can, you have time to waste, in a sense. So, Pirate Punter Pony, Fanny. I unlock Evolution Jolteon with first turns maxis. Ooh, that would be scary, but very tough to keep going. So, I unlock Evolution yeah, actually, that's been done. Archaeops, you it's expanded, and I don't like uh, expand so much. So, yeah. Okay, the Roaring Dude Perfect 14 Gyarados. Do you have four of every card? This account does. I'm trying to move back to my account really soon, so I can start doing tournaments, because you just can't take cards from Pokemon to go for tournaments. That's in that's coming up. And Long... Long... Tan... Ton... Ton I'm sorry, man. I'm Vietnamese. I should do better. This dish is quite salty. I, I sort of agree. It is very salty for your opponent. Yeah, Geo Prize. I played Evil Tall or Dark Ride. Just for the weakness of diversity. It's a pretty good choice. I just all the synergies I thought would be better. And Tony Stark. Hello, Iron Man, bro. When does the limit exist for this function? You got me, man. You got me. Local Lucario. What is the big deal about Vile Plume Vestwing? That's coming up. It's because your item luck instantly. It's kind of like a weaker version of Trevin, I'd say. We'll see about that. And Marty Rice, I hate. They give you a lot of hate and beer bang. Where's that? But that's okay. Don't worry. I enjoy your videos. Scott, my support. Thank you, man. Yoshinator. Dark Ride Generations deserve better. I agree. And I've been playing with a Durant Mill deck. Oh, that Mill deck is coming soon. Okay. That's Tendo. Hey, Donald, I'm a new subscriber. Every see video I've seen so far is amazing. I'm glad you think so. Thank you very much, man. David Stipe, aren't you gods for not your favorite? <sighs> yeah, I don't know why. Lotus Destroyer, please. Mega Lucario. How many new Wormanam over Lucario? Because Wormanam, it's kind of like a new thing. You had to find out what it was about. You know, Mega Lucario, it's been around. Although, I don't know if I should, how I feel about getting back to him. Yeah, Elavia Dromeril. Dark Rise Mono Dark because back then Ghost Dark had no weakness, but now Fairy is uh, out. Fair enough. Tiger, why no dangerous energies? Question. Oh, it did not work with Max Elixir, and I really want the accuracy of Max Elixir. Geo Price. Yep, bad luck. Got similar deck. Sleep usually works well, except heads, 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 heads. heads. Yeah. Mike McCarthy and Vessel Sleep is way too expensive. Hardly not worth it. I agree. This is why you should also take the Dark Ride out deck. Dr. Pokemon, your place can bear any shots with nine tails made in real life. Ooh, I'm glad that one's that one's fun to do. I'm glad you, that one's uh you like that one. And Panda Espresso, what card in your collection do you have the highest quantity of? don't remember. Well, it's probably some common card. And Lance Lance, sexy doctor. I love it. Thank you. And Uggs Dom here. I think you're lucky with that flaming. Yeah, I was, man. I was totally lucky. He was dominating me. William will catch him. Love your videos. We'd we'll love to see your take on Dark Ryan Kiratina. How does how that fit? You got me. And uh, I'm a Rio. I'm uh, Rilio de Oliviera. Got it. Hi, I'm the flaring on Delphox, but I didn't notice I was playing to you. Oh, hi. nice to see you, man. I already changed deck to a few things. Lysander, and good to see you. Good game, man. And Julian Asher. I... There's also a deck that plays Wonders for swapping damage around. Hmm, that includes those cards. Hmm. I think I tried something similar. We'll see about that. Thank you. And Claudio Lopez, I challenge you to make an original legacy deck. Nope. 
no legacies, no expanded. Maybe one day I'll save an expanded deck for a certain something, but no, my nightmares of past are there. And Shykick F C F E, doll, you should make a Generations Blastoise promo. That's been around. Wait, Generations Blastoise EX. Pro I've done that. Yeah, the Poco Face. Did you try the Evolution deck with Golurk? I've done that. Super Cyanide. I love your videos. Thank you very much, man. And Darian, Dark Rise spends money on the Coco. I don't know what that means, but thank you for leaving something crazy and uh, skip. I don't know. For just thank you for very much for leaving me something. And El Tidente Pedazo. Dog, when's Shaman EX removed from standard? Maybe next year? Maybe the year after. Guarantee the year after. I don't know about next year. And uh, Isaac Bergeson. I'll replace Dark Rye with Dark Rye EX with Evil Tall. You know, it's not a bad idea. And. Doug McArthur, I can't wait for the Steam Siege because of Volcanium. My fire deck will be really good with him. Oh, yeah, he's going to be great with Fisherman. We'll see. Kung Fu Pancham, can we have a battle one day on your channel? I'm shy. I haven't done that for anyone, but I don't plan to just uh, yet. But we'll see. Kyoshi Knight, great video. But your deck description's is I got a, I don't know why that, that sneaks in, but I got it this time. Aaron Singer, you should try a poly deck. Why haven't I done a poly deck? Huh, okay. We'll see. Agi Slash is pronounced EG Slash. Aegis Slash, yeah, Athena. There we go. Thank you. And no M3 unboxing. What's your favorite anime and opening? I think it's hologram. There's so many good ones. I'm gonna stick with hologram for now since it's just the first one that popped in. And Jaylin. Have any thoughts on re revisiting the Neuvern Gengar with new cards that speeds it up? That is one of my favorite decks. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Scott Ferreira. He should make a Mega Latio CX deck. Next expansion is going to be better, so I'm saving that one. JB, don't leave us like a book. Why am I think I'm leaving? Okay, Matt. Can you look at Manetric and Bats? I saw that playing play for a while. Psh. Nah, Zayd Abu Salim, please play against Plurman players. I need to be on my mind account. Gotta update that soon. Menu Lord, I hate coin flips. That's, well, when they go wrong like that. Phone, phone guy, 21, you should run e Baby Evil Tall. Not a bad idea. Hey, like your videos. Thank you, William Watson. Mr. Annoying, that bat first battle was the same. Zorok Prize. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, it was. And Marcus Reeb saying, just know us the new sets. Those, that's going to be critical to removing certain, taking care of those Jolting on the, and Glaceon combos. And Reggie, guys. I think they're going to be staples. So, all right, I got everything. Yes. Thank you very much for leaving these comments, guys. And I will really see you next time for Primal Grandma. Bye-bye.